What's up and welcome back to another episode of Gizmo Slip Tech. Today we're taking a look at the MSI Raider A18 and MSI Raider 18. So this is going to be the AMD and Intel flagship for most people uh, who have more reasonable budgets. Okay, so the Titan obviously is going to be like a few hundred dollars more at least and the Dragon Edition is probably going to be like a thousand plus more than this guy. But this is going to have, have nearly all the same features. The main performance difference for the Raider versus the Titan is gonna be that the Titan has vapor chamber cooling and this utilizes heat pipes instead. So that's probably the biggest physical difference. The other big difference, of course, the Titan does not get the Ryzen 9 9955HX 3D. So we've got both the Intel Core Ultra 9 and the Ryzen 9 for the Raider series and the Titan only has Intel. So RTX 5090 with 24 gigs of GDDR7 uh, so it's a Blackwell GPU with a 120 hertz mini LED display, 4K 16 by 10. So that means 38, 40 by 2400, super high resolution display and super bright. Vesa HDR 1000 certified, meaning it can definitely go to 1000 nits. Um, and obviously when you're in SDR mode, it's not gonna be quite as, as uh, fast. Now, the big thing here, in my opinion, besides the CPU and GPU upgrades, of course, the 5090 being likely very fast and the the CPUs being very fast. You know, we've got a Gen 5 SSD support in here with dedicated heat pipe cooling. All right, how cool is that? Um, so there's actually, they showed me a picture of it. I'm not sure if I can get access to the picture, but there's a cooling loop that goes directly over the Gen 5 SSD. And then that cooling loop buddy buddies up next to the main cooling uh, heat pipes to dissipate heat out of the system. Uh, from the SSD, because Gen 5 SSDs can run very hot and they typically need dedicated cooling. Um, the other thing is you may be able to buy this with a Gen 5 SSD out of the box, so you don't have to pay anything extra to go get a Gen 5 SSD. Um, and then of course we have Thunderbolt 5 uh, on this with like Thunderbolt 5 support meaning 8K displays, high refresh rate 8K displays, um, or eGPU support down the line if you really want that, because you got a 5090 in here potentially. Um, it says up to 5090, I don't know what, exactly which GPUs they're gonna offer with this, but I imagine probably 5070 Ti, 5080, and 5090 is likely. Um, so we're looking at six heat pipes uh, with that dedicated PCIe Gen 5 cooler, and then we do have a MUX switch. I don't think there's advanced Optimus here. Power delivery 140 watts. Um, a Windows Hello IR camera, Wi-Fi 7. I, I like it. There's a lot of things to like about this machine. A total TDP of 260 watts, supposedly continuously. Um, of course, that may vary if you have Intel or Ryzen chip. Now, regarding pricing and availability, we don't have any official information about pricing, but I know that the Ryzen 9 9955HX 3D, the fire range CPU versions of this, and the Vector A18, those are probably not gonna be available until June, July, or maybe even a little later, just because they're coming in the later half of the year. Versus the Intel CPUs, the Intel version, Intel's just more on top of the game in terms of getting the latest CPUs ready to go for the new flagship laptop. So you'll be able to buy the Intel version, I believe, it's in February, and get it shipped around March or April timeframe uh, for the Intel version of most of the flagship laptops that are being paired with the 5080 and 5090 at least. So uh, I do think that the Raider A18 could be the most powerful gaming laptop on the market. There will be the XMG Neo 16 with the, the fire range CPUs. You know, it's gonna come down to how good is the fire range CPUs versus the Intel Core Ultra 9, 285 and 275 HX CPUs. I don't know yet. We, we, we literally don't know, but I'm thinking that the fire range AMD CPUs will likely be more powerful. So what you're looking at right in front of you could be the most powerful gaming laptop that money can buy in 2025. So pretty freaking cool to be able to get hands on with it. Let's go ahead and do a deeper dive on the actual ports uh, and the system, taking a look at the hinge and the build quality. So this is very similar to last year's Raider casing. We've got a lot of metal on here, plastic on this rear edge. Uh, we got new black paint with red lines, which that does, I think, look uh, pretty good, but some people aren't gonna like the red. 
I don't know. It's MSI. Red is your red and black is kind of MSI's motif. You do have a light up RGB bar, uh, black or this black metal on the back of the hinge here, the back of the screen. This is metal. Um, this is a metal keyboard deck with a soft mesh keyboard, not mechanical keys, but it is very nicely spaced and it is per key RGB. Very large trackpad. Uh, I don't think it's glass. I do not think this is a glass trackpad. Uh, we have on the right side a headset port, a USB-A, and here's our Thunderbolt 5 ports. I believe there's two of them. And then we have a right side exhaust, rear exhaust on the left and right, power plug for the laptop, HDMI 2.1, and then a downward facing ethernet port. And then on the left side of the laptop, we have another exhaust and two more USB-A's and a full-size SD card slot. And this should have some really nice speakers overall in it. I haven't been able to listen to them yet. I haven't actually got my hands on a Raider uh, 2024 version either. But the 2025 version, especially with the fire range, AMD CPUs seems like it could be performance laptop of the year, potentially. Oh, I mean, it's gonna be either that or probably like something like the Titan or the XMG Neo that'll likely take the highest benchmarking. Um, potentially the Lenovo uh, Pro 7i's as well. There's like there's a few different competitors that can really, really ramp the TDP and uh, the amount of power going through the laptops with enough cooling uh, to get the most possible performance of the chips. And this is one that I think very likely could. Now, if you're curious about whether you can know what laptops are available for sale, uh, when they go on sale, be sure to check out my laptop list linked in the description down below. I'll be listing all of those as well as where you can buy them, where you can pre-order them. And if you do use those links, it does help support me as a content creator, uh, but no pressure to buy any laptop at any point. Uh, I just tried to give you the facts about them. So uh, very cool. I love getting hands on with the Raider A18 and I can't wait to see what this is like when it actually drops coming out later in 2025. And I believe MSI will send me one. They sound like they will send me one for testing. So I'm really excited to hopefully get my hands on one and test one for everybody. Uh, so that's it for the Raider A18. We'll see you in the next one. Lots and lots of CES coverage talking about all the different laptops of 2025. Be sure to check out the main channel. See you in the next one. Brandon out. Bye-bye.